As of today, there are more than 1.9 billion websites on the internet. Internet hosts them and identify them by their IP addresses. The question is, do you actually need to remember the IP address of your last visited website? No, right? All thanks to DNS, that's Domain Name System. Now the DNS is basically a database of the website name and its corresponding IP addresses. Now there are several ways we can view and update the database, the DNS database, and this is called DNS records. Watch this video till the end because I'm going to talk about some of the popular DNS records you need to learn when it, when it comes to the ethical hacking. But before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's definitely gonna motivate me to bring more and more videos. The first is the A records. Now this is very important because this holds the IP address of the domain. If you don't have this record, in that case, you can't really access the website by its name. Next is the pointer record. Now this is very important because this plays a very critical part to verify the email sender. Now this is basically gives you the domain name against the IP address. So that means this is a reverse record. Next is NS record. Now this provides the information about the name server or very specifically authoritative name server. The next is start of authority records. Now this maintains the information about zone or domain. It could be information like uh, uh, email address of administrator. Now this record is also important for zone transfer. Next is CNAME. This is canonical record and this basically forward the request from one domain or subdomain to another domain. All CNAME records should point to a domain, never to an IP address. As an ethical hacker or bug bounty specialist, we tend to brute force for a subdomain information. Next is MX records. Now this is very important to forward or to direct the emails to an email server. Fortunately, there are a whole lot of tools available on the internet that provides the information about DNS. As a part of ethical hacking practice or activity, we should keep making use of tools like domaintools.com, mxtoolbox.com, this is one of my favorite, dnschecker.org. I hope that was useful. Bye for now.